Christians and non-Christians alike today have very inconsistent views about God. And then sometimes when you teach, you hear some people say, but the other man is quoting the Bible. You two are quoting the Bible. Which one do we believe? Well, the scriptures can never mean today what it never meant when it was first written. So the scriptures are not subject to circumstances. They are not subject to times and seasons. The scriptures are superior to circumstances and times and seasons because it can never change today. What was in the mind of the author when it was written is what is in the mind of the author today is what will be in the mind of the author, you know, forever. So therefore, in Bible teaching, what we do is we do exegesis. We go into the scriptures and let the scriptures unveil to us what is in the mind of the author. We don't read our thoughts into the scriptures. We allow the scriptures educate us or we allow the scriptures give us its own thoughts so that through the thoughts of the scripture, we can see exactly what was in the mind of the writer. That's very important. It's called exegesis. So now when you look at the views many people have about God, they are very inconsistent. The Bible itself portrayed different images of God in its interactions with men. Please listen carefully. Throughout the dispensations leading to many questions. And the questions you hear people, you know, struggle with all the time is, is God a loving father or a slave master? Is God tolerant or harsh? Is he patient or touchy? Does he send evil spirits or does he give Holy Spirit? Is he merciful or is he vengeful? Is he forgiving or unforgiving? Is he a murderer or a life giver? Is he demanding or is he a giver? Does he do good or he does bad? Or is he a combination of all of them? Murderer, life giver, killer, maker alive, giver, taker. Is he a combination of all? And there are people that believe that God is a combination of all. And there are people who believe that God is a combination of most of them. So these contradictory pictures of God have left many people confused about the character and the nature of God and exactly how to relate with God. It's important to know that these contradictions have built strongholds in the minds through which we filter everything we know or hear or read about God. It has built strongholds. And that's why some people, you tell them God cannot kill, they are ready to fight because in their mindset, they have been persuaded and deceived by a wrong interpretation of scripture that gives them an idea that God is a killer. And so that has built a stronghold in their minds. It has built a stronghold in their minds. And that is why people must be flexible to allow the scriptures talk to you. Don't force your opinion on the scriptures. Let the scriptures speak to you very clearly. This is very, very important.